In this video, elite batting coach Julian Wood talks with a power hitting stance so you can hit fours and sixes in cricket. Let's go. Hit a couple first. Okay, good. One more. Okay, so really emphasizing getting his body into the shot. All right, but really emphasizing those hands. All right, and also, if you get, just stand in your stance there, so if he gets a good sight of the ball, all right, what I mean by that is, you know, if you're too closed off, or even if you're too, you're very square, right, you don't get a good sight of the ball, all right? So if you're slightly open, which he is, what that allows you to do is I get more body into the shot. Okay, so power comes from the ground up. So if I'm really, if I'm closed off or if I'm really square on, really square here, my legs are square, then basically I can't really get my body into the shot. I'm using, I'm very hand dominant, okay? I'm timing the ball, which is fine, but we want to try and add a bit of power. So if we're slightly open and I get better vision of the ball, better sight of the ball, then I can really get my whole body into the shot. L1. Yeah, go C2. There we go, good. Now go R2, difficult one, over cover. Got to open his, good. Got to open his hands up, let's go again. R2. Yeah, lovely. So if you look there, that one, brilliant. He hasn't got too close to the ball. If you get too close to the ball, you crowd the ball. So he's opened up and then his bottom hand is opened up as well. That creates that angle for the ball to go over cover. Okay, so now we look at his head position. So if he goes C0, just hold it, hold the shot. Okay, look at his head, great position. Head over knee over front foot, okay? Brilliant position, all right, to keep the ball down. Then we go C2, all right, C2 now. Just look where his head's gonna be. Just hold it. Okay, look, so now his head, because he's looking to hit the ball up, his head's over his back hip, which is over his back knee. Great position. Foot is slightly angled. Okay, the reason his foot is slightly, his front foot is slightly angled is that it keeps his hands back behind him. All right, it will keep his hands behind him. If he's open like that, his hip comes through already and his head starts to go that side of the ball. Plus his hands, when he lifts the bat up, his hands will move forward. All right, so if we just get into that, just get into the position where you, you've just finished. So there, great position there. If he opens up, yeah, now it's harder to keep balance. He struggles there. All right, so that's why the front foot angle is very important because it keeps your hands behind you. All right, and it allows your back leg, the power comes from your back leg. It allows that to drive into that front leg. L0. Good, there we go, C2. Now his head position is good. Let's go R2. Yeah, good stuff. See, great position. Head over back hip, over back knee. Creates a positive impact on the ball. Where I mean positive, I mean aerial. 